Need some Christmas music now, that'd be nice. A few chorus. Hello, today I'm at the Gosne kitchen. It's Christmas soon, so today I'm going to show you how to make my special stolen. A lot of fruits, a lot of rum, a lot of good fun. Okay, so for the stolen, the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is the base dough. Uh, it's a kind of brioche dough, rich with butter and sugar and eggs. So to make the dough, we're going to use a mixer. Much you can do it by hand, but with the mixer it's a bit easier. I got my milk in here and four eggs. Then the dry ingredients. I got my flour, my yeast. I'm going to rub the yeast with a bit of flour. My salt and my sugar. Add this on the top. And then we put all the butter in one lump. Put the mixer on, we use the dough hook for this. Slow speed for four minutes, and then we'll go on speed number two after that. And it will take about 17 minutes to mix everything properly, and the dough is nice, supple and elastic. Okay, the dough now has been there for four minutes. You can see it's all together. We're gonna go up the notch now. Keep that three and a half, four on the mixer until it's all coming together. Okay, now the dough, it's been 14 minutes. If you look inside, it's completely clean on the side of the bowl. The dough is strong. So in here, I've got my fruit for the stolen. We got some mixed peel, glacé cherries, toasted almond, and some sultanas. A bit of rum with it to macerate them overnight. And that's going to go into our dough. We're going to mix this for just one minute on slow speed, just to incorporate all the ingredients inside. The smell is incredible already. The smell of Christmas. Okay, all my fruit are together with the dough now. I'm going to transfer the dough on the table and finish it off by hand. So I just put my hand in here and just fold the dough over itself. Just a few times like so. Just give it a good mix. Turn it this way and start again this way. So before we rest the dough, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of flour on the top. That's a stolen dough. So that's gonna rest now for about 45 minutes. So a tiny bit of flour on the bowl, cover it with a cloth. Okay, now the dough is resting for the stolen. I'm gonna show you how to make the almond cream or frangipane as we call it in France. Now the frangipane is one of my favorite cream ever. It's made with the equal part of butter almond and uh, sugar. In French, we call this temps portant, like for like. A bit of flour and eggs and a touch of rum. So the first thing we got is some soft butter and then we're gonna add the sugar bit by bit. The key for this is to go one ingredient at a time and not rushing it. So it's nice and light. The more you beat it, the whiter it becomes, which is a sign of lightness. So now I'm ready for my almond, grand almond. Again, make sure all the almonds are well incorporated inside. I'm happy with this. And then the flour. We use plain flour for that. And then eggs, one at a time, or two. <laughs> and what you want is a consistency that's holding nicely together. And the final touch, some dark navy rum, about two fingers. <laughs> so I don't use almond essence or extract. I reuse the rum to bring the flavor of the cream. A bit more. It's Christmas, and that's ready. Frangipane, perfect. Okay, the dough's been rested for the stolen. Now it's time to put it all together. That's where the magic happened. So that's enough to make three big stolen or six small ones. You just choose. Flour uh, works off first a tiny bit, not too much, just a tiny bit of flour. And tip the dough over. And you cut the dough in half in three more bits. And flatten the dough. Just with your hand is fine. Try to make them in a big rectangle. I love that time of the year. Christmas means stolen. But very often the stolen can be very dry. This is very gooey and really, really full of flavor. I got marzipan, you can buy some neutral or some uh, yellow one. The neutral one is perfectly fine. And just in your hand, just roll them out. And now let's put it together. So I'm gonna put about a good spoon of almond cream on the middle. This will keep everything nice and moist inside. And then we'll put the marzipan on top. Now the most important part is lock everything together inside. So we don't want it to seep out while it's baking. So stretch it a tiny bit and fold, press it gently, and then fold this one over. See the end bit. Then we get some uh, baking tray with some baking parchment on top. Okay, our stolen are all assembled together. Now we let it prove for about 45 minutes. The stolen are ready, so just have a look at them. Very nice, not overproof. You don't want to be too big and collapse. 
just a bit firm there, but that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is show you a makeshift oven inside the oven. So we stop the heat going through too much and burn. So in here, it's just whole eggs and a pinch of salt to burn the eggs. I'm going to build with some foil. Some little wall around it. 180, 190 is great for sweet dough. Right, it's time to go in the oven now and see how stir and doing. I think it's ready. This needs to cool down now. When they cool down, we're going to plunge them in a bath of butter and rum and then uh, roll them into ice and sugar and then we can wrap them as a present. So in here, in my pan, I've melt a lot of butter and a lot of rum together. So you have beautiful flavor and this will keep our stolen fresher for longer. I absolutely soak it into that mixture. So drip it a bit and then in sugar. Again, don't be shy. It's Christmas. Okay, now it's time to wrap up the stolen. So here I got some wax paper. You can buy wax paper, you can use some uh, baking parchment. Just keep everything nice and moist. I'm going to place my stolen on the top and then just wrap it gently. And then I put another layer of wrapping paper, bigger piece again. Keep it tight, the final touch because it's Christmas. Right, I've wrapped all my stolen now. They're ready to be given away as a gift or you can freeze them like that as well. They freeze fantastically well and use them whenever you're ready. I kept one here just for us to try and have a look inside. Don't forget, you can get all those recipes, the video on gosnet.com website, and uh, you can see how it's done. Um, but the best part now is trying. So, can't wait anymore. Look at this inside. It's not dry, it's all gooey. You've got the marzipan inside. The best part of the job, eating. Mm. Merry Christmas.